because an oversupply of computer chips has sent prices plunging. That's the underlined section, and that's not too bad. There are no obvious grammatical mistakes with that, but we'll compare the other ones. As a choice B, because of plunging prices for computer chips, which is due to an oversupply, that's wordy and indirect, so we're not going to go with that. As a choice C, because computer chip prices have been sent plunging, which resulted from an oversupply, boy, that sounds like they're trying to win a contest for being as long and wordy as possible. So that one definitely is out. Due to plunging computer chip prices from an oversupply, okay, at least that's short. We'll go back to that. E, due to an oversupply with the result that. Well, first of all, that's just redundant. Due to, with the result that, that is redundant. That one is also wordy. So that one is out. So now we're choosing between A and B. D again, due to plunging computer chip prices from an oversupply. Something is a little fun about, funny about that. Due to seems to be specifying the cause, but what exactly is the cause here? Did the, the falling prices cause the oversupply or did the oversupply cause the falling prices? Seems like the oversupply caused the falling prices. So to say due to plunging prices, there's something a bit strange about that. Also notice very simply, answer choice A, all the events are in chronological order. First there was the oversupply, then the prices dropped, then they had to announce that they were going to cut production. So that's grammatically correct and it also follows the chronological order, whereas D does not follow the chronological order and it seems to be confusing about exactly which the cause is. So by far, A is the strongest answer here.